Hello YouTube, we're here today to talk about PTM, PTM, Performance Traction Management. In order to have Performance Traction Management, you must have Z51 and you must have Magnetic Ride. If you have those two, you have Performance Traction Management on your car. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. So we're going down to the Haas Chevrolet in Wildwood, Florida here. Got a big skid pad down there. We're going to take that skid pad. We're going to take this car and we're going to run it. We're going to try to show you how when you come out of a corner, instead of easing on the gas, you're going to put the gas to the floor. And Performance Traction Management, or PTM as we call it, uh, is going to take me out of that corner beautifully. We're looking at the owner's manual, page 192. And those two symbols you see down in the middle, uh, bottom middle of the page, those are the two symbols you see up on your dash when you hit uh, the, the button that looks like that bottom symbol down below. We're going to show you that in a minute, though. Those are the two lights that come up on your dash that let you know you're actually in launch control and you're actually in performance traction management, too, if you're in track mode and those five symbols come up. Now, I mentioned earlier, the little asterisk on this is to have performance traction management, you must have Z51 performance package, and you must have magnetic ride control. If you have those two things, you have performance traction management. And if you don't, then you don't have performance traction management. But anyway, take a look at it. It's very interesting. They tell us here that performance traction management integrates the traction control system, Stabilitrack, and the electronic stability control, <clears throat> magnetic ride, and actually the E-differential, too, uh, to provide improved and consistent performance when cornering. How about that? Nice if you're going on an autocross or a track event. You could put it in this mode if you had, obviously, Z51 and Magnetic Ride. I'd definitely put this mode on. Um, it also says that the amount of available engine power is based on the mode selected. We're going to look at the five modes track conditions, driver skills, and the radius of each corner are taken into account. Um, over on the next page, it talks about the experience, to experience the performance benefits of the system after entering a curve and at the point where normal acceleration occurs, fully press the accelerator pedal. In other words, floor it. The PTM system will modify the level of engine power for a smooth and consistent corner exit. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. So, once you push that button twice up and you're in track mode, you will see um, the first of five settings that you can have. The first one that comes up is always wet. And you can read these five. I'm not going to go into them right now, but these are the five different modes that you can select for performance traction management. And we're going to go and get into the car, and I'll show you how all this stuff works. I'm going to shut off the radio. And over here on the dash is this little button right here. And uh, it looks like a little car, the back end of a little car, and it's laying a little patch, a couple of tire marks going off. But that's, that's, that's the button we use to get onto launch control. If you, use, if you looked at my other videos, that's how we get into launch control. Well, this is also how you get into performance traction management. Basically the same, it runs along the same thing and it's the same mode. So it's, it's the old story of getting on here and pushing the button twice and you can launch the car. Now, with performance traction management, you have to go into track mode first. So the mode selector, which is this button right here, it isn't a button, it's a, it's a dial and you dial it. So I'm going to see if I can get into track mode here. Let me see where I am. I'm in sport. I'm going to turn it one more time. And now I'm in track mode. You have to be in track mode before you can get into performance traction management. Now, just like, go back to this button again, and just like I did before, uh, when we went into launch control, we're going to push this button twice and watch what comes up right in this part of the uh, dash, right here on the right-hand side of the dash, or the driver information center, they call it, or the DIC. This is the um, 
driver information center right here and this is the section we want to look at gonna push the button twice we are in track mode gonna push the button twice once twice up comes performance traction wet and now I can turn this dial again which I'll be used my mode dial I call it I can turn this one and it stays on wet so I got to turn it the other way I can go to dry sport one sport two and race so we'll talk about that in just a minute but I wanted to show you how you get into performance traction management and it says performance traction up here they left off the management part so now today what we're going to try to show you is what it looks like we got a section a big piece of parking lot that we're going to use we're going to do a 180 and give you an example of how this all works now you might say oh Bob what, what do I do how do I get out of this thing same way I get into it the same button just push this once so watch this I'm gonna push the button once and those two orange lights went off we're out of performance traction management we're back to normal mode now you can take it out of track and put it in sport or you can put it in touring or whatever you know whatever floats your boat but let me just say it one more time you have to be in track mode you have to have Z51 and you have to have magnetic ride control on your car or it ain't there here we are at Naha Chevrolet in Wildwood Florida and they've been kind enough to let us to come in there and use their big parking lot off to the right there it's a big huge pad and we're going to be able to use that uh, to basically take the car down and do a uh, 180 degree turn in other words go down one side and come back the other side and try to test out how the performance traction management works so you can see the first gate right there the first two cones on the right hand side and then over on the left you can see the second cone that's a cone we're going to pivot around that'll so the as we go through the right then go around the outside of that cone then we go through these two, two cones you see on the left now my wife gets in the car and she's going to drive the course nice and carefully for you so we enter right here braking going on right about here we make the turn once we get set up here we, we put the gas on we're basically full throttle right about here and uh, off we go through that final gate there you go so let's do this All right, so we're gonna go through here. This is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna come down here like this. We're gonna finish our braking right about here. Now we're gonna start getting on the throttle and full throttle out through here. So that's gonna be our shot, okay? <laughs> we're gonna go a little bit faster than we were going. Now, I notice when I shut the car off, I'm not in performance traction management, so I got to put that on. So here we go. Once, twice. Am I in track mode? This track mode. Now, once, twice. And we'll go to sport one. We'll try that. That seems to work the best. All right, you ready? Make sure I got it. Yes, I am recording. All right, here we go. Brake, turn, full throttle. Look at that. Look at performance traction management. We're in sport one. We're going to go down there. And then we're going to go around the outside of that first cone and come around. And I'm going to be full throttle when I go around that second, that single cone out there. Okay, you ready? All right, we turn full 
throttle. Wow. Okay, let's get it in track mode. And push the button twice. And we'll go to sport one. You ready? Right there, brakes, full throttle. Now this one is in performance traction management dry, okay? Performance traction management dry, and let's see what we get with this. <clears throat> Let me set up a little better for this one. Many thanks to Naha Chevrolet up in Wildwood, Florida here. And uh, they let me use their parking lot, empty parking lot. Uh, they closed on Sunday, so this past Sunday we used the parking lot. Um, the full advantage, it was really great. <laughs> that parking lot was great. Um, don't forget to like, if you will. If you like the video, hit the like button. That really helps. And if you click on the subscribe button, that really helps a lot. And uh, a lot of you have done it lately and I really appreciate it, all you people that have subscribed and we'd love some new ones. I read all the comments, every single one of them. I appreciate any comments that you post there, whether good, bad, and ugly. Uh, everybody has an opinion and we like to read them all. I like reading them all, it's no problem. Um, what else? Performance traction management, it's pretty impressive. It was a lot of fun to do. The car is amazing. I still can't get over how exciting the C8 Corvette is. And uh, also, my final thought is there's a uh, <clears throat> excuse me. There's a there's a video out on YouTube uh, that has Tommy Milner in it, who's the uh, one of the Corvette drivers, uh, factory drivers for the Corvette, and he does performance traction management measurements um, in a ZR1 that has performance traction management, obviously. And uh, you want to take a look at it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. 
click on it and go watch this video. It's uh, very interesting. Can Tommy Milner beat the computer? Or can't he? Can he beat uh, PTM? Or can he not? Go take a look and see. It's pretty interesting. With that, I'll say good night and um, we'll see you again on the next one.